Good afternoon, everyone. Dutch archaeologists discovered traces of submerged medieval settlement from a thousand years ago. We're supposed to believe that they were able to stop the sea, and in 1287 there was a massive flood that overtopped those seawalls, burying these massive amounts of colonies that were never re-inhabited for more than 700 years. And magically, one of the seven wonders of the world completed to drain this same area revealed the submerged settlements. Incredible mansions along the coast that are no longer there during this same time period, 1891, in six months worth of rain in Brazil in a single day. It's about the hidden history. And with the U.S. election happening in the blink of an eye, I think you'd agree, whatever the outcome, things are going to be rough for a while. So if you're worried about your finances taking a hit, you should look at protecting your savings, especially your hard-earned retirement fund. The team at Noble Gold knows how to do this, and they've done it for thousands of other people before you. With every qualifying IRA or 401k rollover, Noble Gold is gifting a 10th ounce solid gold American Eagle proof coin. Grab the phone and give Noble Gold a call now. 877-646-5347. And you'll also find the link in the description box below the video. And if you're looking for displaced civilization timelines, I think we have one right here. This is a giant inland lake in the Netherlands. And the Dutch archaeologists have discovered submerged medieval settlements, four of them. So the map accompanying the article here, you can obviously see the lake with the barrier islands. Now in the center there on the shoreline, you don't see any what would be considered land sticking out into the lake. But if we do drop back here into the giant engineering project from 1927 to 32, they put up this huge dike to stop the seawater coming in. Then they drained it. And lo and behold, these areas that used to have the medieval settlements were above water once again. Very specific here, the areas in green, which did have settlements on them a thousand years ago with engineering at least as good to drain the same areas, resurfaces. And this area of the sea that you're looking at is called the Z Wider Z. And some of the settlements here nor Ospolder. Now conventional history and historians will have you believe that a thousand years ago they erected these walls made of wood with earthen banks and created a seawall that stopped the sea and they were able to then pump out all of that water to then reveal the same land that is now being found submerged that had the settlements on them. And in 1287 there was a massive storm that collapsed all those seawalls and it was the sixth largest flood in recorded history. Apparently 80,000 people were lost during the evening. And this area was never, ever repopulated for more than 700 years in some of the most prime land in Europe. But it was just left to go because of the one event. Never rebuilt. Even after 10 generations, they would have forgotten this event had happened and go, wow, look at all that land over there. Oh, wait, it's submerged. Wait a second. Because it took until 1891 until they thought about, hey, we might have good enough tech right now where we could do that project and put a huge seawall up, pump it out, and then have a bunch more land for farming, for example. Where's the disconnect of those 800 years? Where, that's lost. If they had such good technology to make a seawall a thousand years ago and have that same land above water that got flooded in a massive flood, where's the lost tech for 800 years? And I know many of you are into the Tartaria and looking for lost bits of history. These are the mansions that were on the beaches in 1891. Look how vast and massive those are because we see these types of mansions across the planet, especially in New York. Look for the New York mansions in the late 1800s and you'll see something exactly like this. But then they ripped them all down to build up other mansions that weren't nearly as ornate. It was more like, got to rip down the old stuff because they'll notice that it's out of place. I encourage you to do your own research on the New York mansions circa the same time, 1880s to 1900, and see what's missing now, which was opulence. And you just wonder, why would they tear all those mansions down? It makes no sense. 
as well as so many other buildings across the planet during that same era were removed. Now back to the Z Wider Z project to show you the disconnect in history of what was supposed to be built a thousand years ago. The barrier dam is 30 kilometers long. That's 18 miles. And in today's world, they had to use barges, dredges, and bring all of this earth and rock in. Look at the amount of massive shipbuilding that was required to get this barrier wall slash seawall up in place in the 1920s. And then they were able to drain it using pumps. And then they started to find remnants and relics from the previous settlements that were there. So whatever happened around a thousand years ago, they were able to replicate the same thing, put up the seawall and drain the water. But we know for sure that tech didn't exist at that point. So how did it happen? This is the amount of land that was recovered where the settlements were. And you saw those larger maps here with that same kind of discoloration on them. You can see the, the three areas that have come above water again. Makes no sense. And a massive storm in 1953 will give you an idea of when a, a seawall is breached during a North Sea storm, how much flooding could occur. And then this was really the catalyst to get the Dutch to put up uh, the rest of what's called the seventh wonder of the world and reinforce that and really get that seawall in place. But we're supposed to believe that this from 1000 AD was there and then nothing for 600 years and all of this area was drained, which is now above water again. It's just too much to believe. There's missing something in our history that could explain this engineering feat, which is now termed one of the seven wonders of the world, at least in engineering on that seawall construction. And these older maps here from the 1600s as well, you know, they don't show that land that has been resurfaced again. So the orientations on this is a little bit wrong, but you can see the sea islands there. Let me spin it for you. And then you'll see the sea islands. And if we come into the, the large inland lake there, but you just don't see the same amount of land above water that we do after the pumping project. And speaking of mass amounts of water, six months worth of rain in Brazil in a day. And what's most interesting is they say November's generally a dry month. It's not like this happened in the middle of the monsoon and it was just so exceptionally heavy that we got a river from the sky that poured out. This is in the dry season, which even adds another whole level of mystery to this from the skies and when you have this much water coming into uh, cities I don't care where you are in the world it's going to turn into a massive flood and as you see anywhere it was low lying started to fill up so we are in a cycle of these 400 year changes and what's most interesting is the Z wider Z flood of 1287 was during a grand solar minimum period as well massive floods months worth of rain everywhere across the planet now Almost every storm's once in a 100 or 200 year event. And it just matches on the timeline as well as the hidden history here. So three birds, one stone in this one. But it all comes down to being prepared for changes. You need to have some food ready, especially with what we're seeing inbound here with the reset coming in January of 2021 on the finance side, all the chaos in the US with the elections. So many things that you're gonna need to get prepared for anyway. You might as well start now. Buy bulk foods from the supermarkets if you can, pack it yourself, but if you don't have that ability, the two-week or the four-week emergency food supply with My Patriot Supply and Adapt 2030. That link's in the description box below along with the links to the stories and images and maps of everything I presented here about the impossible engineering projects of 1,000 years prior. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video, and I'll see you next time.